I thought the president's team um, laid out what this is really about. This, this is about the Democrats trying to cancel the guy that 74 million Americans voted for. Uh, they've been obsessed with this. The obsession continues, so much so that they're willing to ignore the Constitution, willing to ignore due process, and frankly, willing to ignore the facts. I thought it was interesting when it comes to the facts that the video the Democrats played, nowhere in that video did they have the statement where the president said, peacefully and patriotically make your voices heard. And of course, um, the president's counsel strongly, I think very strongly made the case for how this is not constitutional. The simple fact remains, how do you remove someone from office who's already left? Uh, the Democrats tried to remove President Trump from office before he got there. They're trying to remove him from office after he's already left. And then finally, the, the lack of due process in this impeachment makes, makes Adam Schiff look like he was fair. Uh, and we all know that the president didn't get to call any witnesses in the previous impeachment. But this was, as our colleague has said, this was impeachment by reflex, no due process for the president. And I thought the president's team effectively laid out those core arguments, and we'll see those um, reinforced over the next uh, over the next few days. Emotional, hyperbolic language in our politics today, and there's a lot of emotion surrounding the tragic events of January 6. But what is supposed to govern this decision is is the law, the Constitution, and I think the president's counsel did a, a good job in that second half laying out what the law says, what the actual language of the Constitution is. And hopefully at the end of the day that will govern because otherwise we open a Pandora's box for political vengeance. Um, if, if you can impeach presidents after they leave office, um, it, it sets a very dangerous trend. And um, especially with the nature of our politics today, it's something that I think all of us should want to avoid.